Now, as coach John Wooden once said, a good coach can change a game, but a great coach can change a life. That's a statement that many of the Wildcats from the late 60s will agree on, especially when talking about their head coach, Bob Tyler. And quite frankly, you know, he, he changed my life. Many Wildcats will say the same. Coach Bob Tyler had a way of leaving his mark on his players. It wasn't just X's and O's. It was more like determination and uh, what you can do with what abilities you have. Coach Bob Tyler was the head coach of the Wildcats from 1965 to 1967. He led Meridian to 38 wins and no losses and one tie. He also led them to two Big 8 state title victories. One of those championships came in 1967 with the first undefeated class since 1943. But he was not your normal head coach. He was young. He was calm. But most importantly, he was wise beyond his years. He was ahead of his time from that standpoint. Yeah, he really was. And uh, we did throw the ball a lot. Uh, and we were very effective with it, too, you know, great obviously. To be a wide receiver. It was absolutely a great time to be a wide receiver. His offensive mind was ahead of the game as far as the um, high school in Mississippi. He did a great job. Uh, he could recognize talent, get them in the right places and uh, he, he just had a good mind about the passing game. He was a very much of a pro-style quarterback type of coach. Uh, what he did is he got the best receivers and the fastest guys and sent them straight down the field. And he told Bob White to just loft the ball, just put it in the air, get as much air in it as you can, and your receivers will find the ball. And that's exactly what they did. Now that was the secret to his offense, and it worked. He was named the Big 8 Coach of the Year in 1966 and 1967. He then went on to coach at Ole Miss, Alabama, Mississippi State, and North Texas. But he had a way with his lessons off the field. I always thought that our team was an extension of our coaches. And Coach Tyler, Coach Tyler no doubt was a good football coach. And he had a way of putting confidence in you that made when you stepped on that field, there wasn't a question who was going to win. You know, it was how much. Coach Tyler was inducted into the Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame in 2022 and is still one of the greatest of all time. It was fun. <laughs> it was easy. And uh, probably the most enjoyable years I spent was right here on Ray, at Ray Stadium. Yeah. Well, Coach Bob Tyler is still kicking it. He's 90 years old and currently lives in Water Valley, Mississippi. We reached out to him, but unfortunately he was unavailable for an interview. But we want to thank Queen City Cigars for sponsoring this series on the glory days of the Wildcats.